Hello everyone, Star here. So about two to three days ago, DE released a new trailer for The Heart of Deimos. The full release and explanation on the trailer will be out on August 1st in two weeks, so we'll know the truth. But let's speculate. So the area is obviously infested in a Roken base like the Dire Elect. Now there's numerous ways that DE can surprise us, but let's follow some old trends. First could be that this may be the infested open world area that was mentioned a while ago. Although if this is true and all the planets do get an open world area like they said, it just means more content for me to talk about but it leads to more players who don't know what to do in Warframe. Another is a new Dire Elect Tiles remastered. I highly doubt this because they would have just called this a remaster from the start, but it has to be something new because of the new weapon that's being introduced. So. Obviously from the video, there are some desolate locations with some Arogan style pots and doors. Next is where it gets weird. Watching this slower, the enemy that gets flash is actually brand new. I've never seen an infested enemy like that. Also from the scene shooting the infested enemy with the new weapon, it looks like the infested enemy that gets shot turns into two infested MOAs after. Pretty weird. Here we also see the two new infested enemies clearly with new areas. It looks like they might meld the Granum Void and the Oroken, which would be a cool Granum Void squared type beat, but I highly doubt that they're going to do that. That's just really weird. I mean, just look at how cool that looks though. A reverse scorpion enemy and an Atlas Crusher infested thingy. I don't really know how to explain that thing. Then there's this one scene with that giant red bulb. It seems to censor out eventually, but this may be a new form of cyst or a new area where infested enemies are spat out. At the end, it's zooming in on the door that was shown in the beginning and it starts glowing. This is really interesting because if this is actually a new portal or something, it obviously doesn't introduce the infested because there's already a room to the right of it that is already infested and the door has some infestation on the front of it that seemingly gets taken off when it opens. But one main question I have is where did these new enemies come from? Were they just evolved into new things or were they created? And how do we excavate that new weapon? The weapon doesn't really look like they're a traditional infested style weapon, so it may be sentient of origin or an original Arogan weapon. There has to be more conflicting factions in this. Okay, I think that's enough nitpicking the video. I definitely think this new Tenacon will show up some new cool features like every year. Also tune in on August 1st for a free Hydroid Prime and get a free Atodai, sentient Arogan sort of Fallout 4 looking alien ghetto blasta type gun. I promise I was not sponsored to say this. I wish I was. Okay, that was my video on the heart of Deimos. Very exciting stuff. It looks very promising. I hope you enjoyed this video and will enjoy the new Tenocon reveals on August 1st. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell icon for more Warframe content. Feel free to leave your comments down in the comment section below and I'll get to you there. This has been Star, signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.